wanted to uh, start off, um, what was going through your mind when you broke away at 42K? Uh, it's going to be a long day. It was just two other guys, so I knew with the wind and the hills and and everything else, the rain, that uh, our chances were slim, but you know, as we got closer, you kind of sensed that there wasn't much organization behind, so you know, I knew once we got over that last climb with a couple of minutes that we had a really great chance. Tell me about that last climb. It was close by and you, you surged ahead there. Yeah, I mean, the, the climb before, I kind of set, set the pace the whole way, so I kind of figured I'd be in that position anyway. I was gonna wait on him at the top regardless, but just wanted to, to go my own, own pace and get those points at the top and make sure we had a decent gap and, and didn't pull around too much. Now you've put yourself back into GC contention. Um, how does that change what the team will do and what you'll do? Uh, tomorrow it's it's going to be, you know, working together. You know, we have Mateus and, and Adik and, and Butler that are going to be great for GC as well. So it's not really going to place a lot of pressure on me. But if I can get up the climb and in a great position, then I'll, I'll look, look to actually race the rest of the week for GC. And how does this, um, how does both fit into your bigger race plans? Uh, it's been kind of one of the highlights for me this year. Um, definitely the wins that the biggest win, individual win of my career, so very happy with that. But I've, I've kind of been shooting for this period of the year to, to peak and or at least come close to that. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm on track and, you know, I'm ready for a, a good August and, and September. Yeah. Megantic is a, is, a, is a huge priority for your team and, you know, to do well on that stage. Um, is there a risk, you know, trying to go for a stage win before Megantic? I know it sounds crazy, but what are the, you know, what do you have to weigh when you do something like that? Uh, I'll bet I'll be a little sore when I wake up tomorrow. So yeah, there is a risk, but you know, I tend to recover pretty well. Um, definitely couldn't trade this for a top five tomorrow, so I'd much rather get the win here. And it kind of takes pressure off the team for the rest of the week, and we can kind of go into every stage excited and motivated. So there wasn't a lot of talking when you know when you were out there. It was sort of like not just doing all. the work yeah. and sort of uh, not asking said, for help or. We didn't say our two words to each other until 30k to go. <laughs> and and you're pretty comfortable with that style of riding. Yeah, you can't really do too much until you you, you really know you have a good chance to make it to the finish. And once we did, we started communicating, and working really well together. Now yesterday there was a break and 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 three guys as well. And, and they were ahead more than eight minutes and they were brought back. You guys are maximum, you were away maybe less than right. four minutes. What was going through your mind? Yeah, they, they really didn't give us a long leash at all, but I don't know, just kind of as the day went on and the wind never died down, you kind of tell that it's not going to be any easier in the bunch either. You know, it was a good time to be up front. And uh, what um, what's next for you? I'm uh, probably going to go have a little break and try to try to prepare for tour of Utah.